everyone, this is Anne from Odul Sina Scrap. Today it's a tutorial video to print on special and delicate papers like tissue paper, uh, piano roll paper, doilies, um, calligraphy paper, uh, paper that has been rolled together so you, you're not able to put in your printer. I'm quickly showing you how to print on those papers and then I'm going to show you final results uh, of the printing. I am using a photocopy paper as a base and I'm trimming my tissue paper or any really thin paper that I will fold over my photocopy paper. So I'm, trim, I'm trimming to size a little bit bigger than the paper as you can see. Then I align it and I fold one edge at least. You don't need to fold the two edges. It depends your printer or your paper maybe. So some I've been folding both sides, but some I just folded one side and it worked great. Then you trim to size the sides because you don't want them to jam in your printer. For the paper doily, I've used some glue stick and I applied the glue directly, but you need to be careful and not put too much. Um, Cheryl used a different way to apply the glue stick glue, so you might want to watch her. I didn't apply the glue everywhere, just on the top. And most importantly, you need to remove the paper doily from the photocopy paper as soon as it's printed. Don't wait because otherwise the glue becomes more permanent. I guess if you have a, a temporary glue, that would be awesome. I just didn't have any. And that worked great too with the glue stick like that. I love the effect and... Um, you can use the background paper if you wish because you now have a doily printed on your pattern paper. Here I'm using packaging paper that was wrapped around items that I've ordered online. And it's, a, it's not the typical packaging paper, but I really like the paper. It's kind of a thin, almost fabric paper, but it was all folded. And uh, I really like that paper. Of course, it cannot go directly in the printer. It's too thin, so I'm going to use my, my technique. But now, for this one, I've only used the scotch tape on one side, as you can see. And it worked really great. Of course, this is the front side. It's going to start printing from that side where I applied the scotch tape. Piano roll paper, you can apply a tiny line of glue all around, but I decided to use the same technique, fold at the top just a tiny bit because I wanted to keep it as much as possible, and I didn't apply any more glue or anything else, and even if it was rolling like that in the printer, it uh, printed just fine, and uh, you can see the little dots on the photocopy, photocopy paper and it's really really neat so that piano roll it's it's a cool uh, it's a cool option of paper and you can tear it so easily it's 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 nice i didn't know how to use my um, piano papers and uh, I, I love this idea I suggest you try any type of paper that you have around you that cannot go directly in the printer. That seems to work great for everything and um, I had lots of fun. So I had that big, big, big paper. It's kind of a, it was used to, to do a pattern like a sewing pattern or um, another like project. It was one, just one big piece, so I, I've i cut a smaller piece. And if I look at that paper, it's really close to the, um, to the tissue paper. So I ended up with a result similar to the tissue paper. It was just making a little bit more noise, <laughs> which is not a problem to me. And uh, the result is so, f so, so, so satisfying. 
Again, I folded the, the paper and I've applied the scotch tape. And then the only thing I needed to do is to trim the sides. I don't care about the other side um, of the paper because the, the printer will grab the paper from the side where I folded it and it printed just fine. The only thing you need to know is that you need to print borderless because I find it helps the paper if the printer goes up to each side of the paper to print it might grab the the tiny paper or the delicate paper and might tear it so if you have a border all around your pattern then the printer doesn't uh, doesn't have to go up to each sides of the paper and that helps uh, so I've been printing everything with a border and it, they all printed really, really great. This is a paper roll that I had. My mom gave that to me. It was, she had that for ages and nobody knows what to do with that because, because it rolls over and over and over. Now I'm going to show you what they look like. So this is the doily. You can see it printed well on it. Um, I did this one too. Look at that. So cute. Um, the tissue paper, the pink tissue paper, I separated a couple just so you can see. So of course you need to glue them to something else, but you kind of have a, a color in the background. This was my antique labels again, but printed on a calligraphy, Chinese calligraphy paper. So it's a special paper and it's really, really gorgeous. Like the texture of the paper, we can feel it's totally different than regular paper. And uh, I'll be able to use them glued on something to do ephemeras. This was the tissue paper. Look at that. It, it kept all the, all the folds of the paper. And uh, it is awesome. I am just in love. Way more cheaper than... Um, tracing paper and even though it's or vellum paper it's thin it's it's a different texture and um, it really feel like it's an old paper honestly totally in love with that same for this one it's the same thing it's another tissue paper look at that it's awesome awesome I folded it that way, this way, just following the lines. Oops, this was from the others. Now, piano paper. I did a small page and I did a bigger one too, just to give you some ideas. And here it, it teared a little bit, so I used a faux tape, a faux age tape. I have a technique video for that, a tutorial video. Um, and the ones that I did, like I'm gonna keep the sides of this one because I find it's cute. And of course, this kind of paper, because it rolls forever, you kind of need to glue it to something. So it's going to be glued to another paper somehow, create a pocket, I don't know. This packaging paper, which is not the typical packaging paper, but for me it came as a packaging paper. And look at that, it seems it's been already folded, folded multiple times because it's a packaging paper, a used one. 
but the tearing with the ruler and the printing on that paper, it's it just makes it look so real. I love it. Now, this is tissue paper again, and I printed my back in time papers. And look at that. It is just, just, just gorgeous. This one I teared a little bit, but you know, it makes it look more realistic, more old. I'm just so in love with those. You see, I couldn't stop. I tried multiple ones. Look at that, that recipe here. Um, typewriter recipe, um, wallpaper, and this journal page. It's just awesome. And the last one, it was the paper from the roll. The roll like that, that I have, which is kind of a, a little bit thinner than a photocopy paper. So it's probably something about 16 pounds instead of 20 pounds. So it makes more noise. And uh, I've been able, I'll be able with this technique, I'll be able to print on that paper now because I try to just cut to size and put in my printer and it was jamming all the time because it was rolling too much even in the printer so I have those papers that I can use now so any paper that is delicate or tend to roll you can use that technique and you can print on them so I hope you enjoyed and maybe you've learned something. Have fun trying like me to print and you'll discover which ones are your favorite. For me, my favorite is those tissue paper. Oh boy, it's really a winner. And even that calligraphy paper, I'm really in love with that. Of course, the, the doilies. It's great, but I don't see using or doing them too often because it's a little bit too complicated for me, I find. But it's an idea. If you need a special one or you'd like to print something there uh, in the middle, there's a way for you to, to print on the paper in the middle of the paper and figure out where to glue the, the doily on it. And then you pass it through your printer again and it would print whatever you want there in the middle. Maybe that should be another tutorial. It's my tips from my old times when I was doing scrapbooking and I wanted to print on little pieces of paper. So um, yeah, have fun. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.